Invite a Budget Blind Style Consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. Well, and to local news now, histiocytosis is a form of disease dealing with the white blood cells, often leading to organ damage and tumor formation. And this week's Healthy Living, Anna Kanafe brings us a story that's been a battle from the beginning as one local family deals with a disease that's rare and uh, under-researched. And on top of that, there's piling bills to pay. This is Cody with his youngest son, Jackson. Lately, he's been spending a lot of time at home, and this isn't his choice. This is one in out of every one million adults will get Langer hand cell histiocytosis. So, I mean, there's not lots of clinical study on it or medication, so really I'm on a trial and error basis right now. The fight to find out what his condition was started two years ago with a simple rash. I got turned away from hundreds of doctors because they had no idea what was going on. And Shortness of breath and chest pains followed in a triple lung biopsy. And then the fight with finances began, his work not offering short-term disability. With long-term disability, you have to have a 119-day waiting period. Mm -hmm. So we were told before he went back to work that um, if he went back to work and worked under six months, if he went back <laughs> off again for the same illness, his days wouldn't reset. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but when he went back off, they did reset because there's the... <laughs> insurance company saying because he worked longer than two weeks. We were stuck with no money so we had to go to medical EI and I went to reapply for that to try to get back paid again and we couldn't because I was you have to have 600 hours in the time you go back to try work and I had 573 hours so I was 27 hours short of reapplying for medical EI. This leaving Simone the sole provider for a family of six. So there's lots of bills and there's only one of me to divide my time between work and raising the kids and taking them where they need to go and taking him to his doctor's appointments and going to Edmonton with him or going to Saskatoon with him. Yeah, it's wearing on me. Like as much as I try to show that it doesn't, it does. Doctors in Saskatoon recently started a new treatment on Cody used to kill leukemia. They're going to try this trial for three months and if there's no significant improvement in a month and a half then they'll pull me off of it and go to probably intravenous chemo. The family has hoped this treatment will finally work and they'll be able to get back to normal life. Anna Kanafate, Newcap News. For more details on Cody's story or to help the family out you can visit gofundme.com slash help Cody beat cancer. Well, a small community south of Lloydminster is showing off its big heart. Savannah Belich explains how people in Macklin pulled together to help the family of a little girl with special needs. You're such a cool classmate, you rock. Meet Mackenzie Bishler, Macklin's little rock star. The 11 year old has lots of fans in this small town and seems to bring a smile to everyone she meets. Bishler was diagnosed with cerebral palsy as a baby. Now that she's older, it's getting harder for her mom to include her in simple everyday things like grocery shopping. Just to try to fit her into a normal shopping cart, she has such long legs that yeah, I'd have to stand up and try to get her in and I'd have my son pulling her legs through. That started Abigail Heck thinking the educational assistant had seen a story on social media about Caroline's cart, a shopping cart designed for older kids with special needs. Um, I saw the joy that it brought to that family and I saw a need for it in our community. Heck approached the local co-op about getting a Caroline's cart in the store and they jumped on board. They see the need for it here and they see the families that struggle in our community while they shop and it is a win-win win -win scenario for everybody involved. After several months of fundraising almost $1,500, the community was able to buy the first Caroline's cart for the Delta Co-op. Amanda Bishler says it's made a world of difference. That we have the Caroline cart, I'm able to push the Caroline cart out to the van, put Mackenzie in, and bring her into the store. For Something she says her daughter loves and if the community of Macklin has its way, other stores will be encouraged to follow their lead. 
For now, Bishler says she's just grateful she can include her daughter in something most people take for granted. But tears of joy that an everyday experience can actually happen for us. <laughs> Sylvana Benelich, New Cap News.